Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And this video, I want to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. In this film, one of the Guardians is seriously hot, and the other Guardians have to try and find a way to um, solve this Guardian problem. I don't give spoilers for anyone that has not seen it, but it basically follows the Guardians trying to solve a problem for another Guardian. <laughs> That's just basically what the movie is about. This film had some really, really good things to it. Had some things that, that made me appreciate this film so much. Some things that I was not expecting. Well, I saw it from the trailer. I saw some things in the trailer, so I knew what to expect. But watching the film had, had much more impact than just seeing the trailer. And like witnessing all that, all, everything I saw in the trailer, witnessing it live in the movie, just gave me another form of, another feeling, just gave me another feeling of joy that I was not expecting. Joy, sadness, a lot of things that I felt, a lot of emotions that I felt watching this movie. One of the things that made me feel all those emotions was Rocket's storyline. This film mainly focuses on Rocket, Rocket Raccoon, and his storyline was something I was not expecting. And the way they went about telling the story was brilliant, seriously. I felt so many emotions watching the story. I felt joy at some point. I felt sadness. I felt grief. I felt a lot of things just following Rocket's story. It was so good and it was so well done. And Bradley Cooper as the voice of Rocket was man. It was an amazing performance. I think this is the one that Bradley Cooper's performance as Rocket really, really shines. And man, Bradley Cooper did a fantastic job as, as Rocket. I can't talk about this film without talking about the villain. The villain in this film was mesmerizing to watch. For like the first half till the end, so almost like the end of the film, man, I love seeing the villain. But at some point, towards the end of the film, the villain just became like a cartoonish character yelling and screaming up and down. <laughs> And I was not liking that. I didn't like that. At the beginning of the film, the, the character had some nuance to him that made me really appreciate his character. Like, there was a scene where the villain, um, I, I Evolutionary, yeah, that's his name. There was a sequence where I Evolutionary was talking to young Rocket. And there was a way he held Rocket. And I was like, yo, that was very sinister. The way he just held him. And I love that just little aspect of villain that they portrayed with him. I love that aspect. I wish they could have kept having little, little nuances like that to his character instead of just making him scream and scream towards the end of the film. Like, it would have made his character much more terrifying. I know I was more terrified when I saw him holding Rocket, the way he was holding Rocket, holding Rocket and talking to him like he cared about him. But honestly, he didn't care about him. It was just so, so villainy watching him do that. And man, I love what they did with him. But towards the end, when he just started shouting and shouting, he just lost me. And there are so many characters in this film. Like, I think I feel like the characters in this film are more than the characters in the previous Guardians movies. But it doesn't take away anything from it. I like that they added new characters. Like, sometimes the story felt too broad with so many characters. But I, I could still get along with it because the characters had an impact. Like, they had a piece to... <laughs> they, formed, they all connected and they just formed a piece of the larger story. And it was fun seeing it. And you could tell that James Gunn, the director of the film, the writer and director of the film, you could tell that he loves these characters because there are some things he did with them. There are some dialogues he did that he gave these characters that was like, wow, you won't give a character this kind of dialogue if you didn't really care about him. And that was how I felt watching because there are some lines of dialogues with all these characters that made me realize James Gunn really liked these characters. Because the creator likes them, it just comes off naturally in their performance. And when you see all those things naturally, it just makes you feel the same affection that the creator had for them. And man, James Gunn's love for them just was so obvious in this film and made me feel that much love for them as well. I feel like the comedy in the Guardians movies are like the best in the whole MC, MCU. Honestly, like the first Guardians movie was so hilarious. I laughed so much. The second one wasn't as good, but this one was also very funny. I laughed so much watching this film and the comedy was also as good as the first, the first and the second one. Some of the movies Marvel has been releasing lately haven't had that good comedy. But this film added, and it was refreshing to see good comedy in a Marvel movie. And along with the comedy, it had good VFX, and they did this really well, and I enjoyed this movie so much. There's a one-take fight sequence in this film, and if you know me, you know how much I love one-take sequences. But this one-take sequence was another, another level. It was like the old Guardians fighting with a bunch of, <laughs> you know, a bunch of bad guys. All the, all, all the Guardians fighting, and the shots was just going from one Guardian to the other, focusing on one Guardian. Without breaking the shot, I mean, I love seeing all those things. And when I saw this in, the, in this movie, it just took my love of the movie to another level. And it was so well done. That sequence was so good to watch. You know, like, imagine not seeing any cuts and just watching a film. You can just shoot a scene without breaking anything at all. Just going from one sequence, going from one character to that character to another character. Like, it was brilliant to see. I mean, honestly, I loved, loved seeing that sequence in this film. As much as I love this film, I had one little issue with it. One small issue. 
there were like two instances that I can remember where we thought one of the main characters were going to die. But the character didn't die and it just took away the emotional impact that it would have had. And I did not like that. I'm glad the characters didn't die. At two points where we were like, okay, yes, this character is dead. <laughs> but the characters didn't die and I was like, wow, you have this kind of emotional impact that you could have hit me with. But you didn't do it. It just took the emotional impact away from me. I didn't enjoy it as much as I could have. Like... As much as as it uh, as much as I didn't want any of the characters to die, I feel like it would have hit much harder if a character had died in this film. But none of the characters died. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> none of the characters died. But I'm glad for it. But I still wish one of the characters had died in this film. The emotional impact would have been so much more great. <laughs> it, would have been, it would have been so much greater if a character had died. But nonetheless, it was still a fun movie, and I enjoyed myself watching this movie. From beginning to end so guys have you seen guardians of the galaxy volume 3 what do you think about it comment below and let me know which of the guardians movies is your favorite one two or three comment below and let me know if this is your first time on my channel my guy please subscribe to my channel for more contents like this thank you for sticking on to this time see you in the next video cheers